And here it is, the cheapest fly rod combo that I can find on Amazon. So this here is the Wakeman. It's got this nice plastic reel seat. Um, I don't know what weight it is. It has absolutely no other markings on it. Maybe a five weight. Uh, it's got a little tiny reel. It came with fly line, but it did not come with any backing. And also, I have no, no idea what type of taper this is. Um, as far as I know, the whole fly line felt the same. So I hope I put it on the right direction. I added a loop in, put my own backing on it. But uh, for $45, we're going to see how it does. So let's go ahead. We're going to get set up and start fishing the river. All right, so you can see what I have tied on here. Nice little bobber or indicator maybe 20 inches up uh there should be some fish in here but there's nothing like getting to a catch and release area and uh walking past a bunch of like bait boxes and worm containers on the way here so i'm try to enter the stream i know it's gonna be slippery all right let's see how she casts Eh, not bad. Not bad. It's a little heavy down on the base end. Which is weird. Because there's no... This is such a tiny reel. Again, got this whole setup for 45 bucks. So you compare that... To, let's say a mid-range $400 fly rod right which is what my echo trout x is uh, $300 rise reel $120 worth of fly line right backings negligible and $45 does not seem like a bad setup And get on a fish i'd really let you know how it was it does not load very well though there we go it's a good spot There we go. It's a nice one. Oh, look at that guy jumping over there. A little bitty reel. Ooh, we just barely have him hooked. I am fishing barbless. Kneel down here. So, there you have it. All right, what's the name of this run? Wakeman. Wakeman. All right, feisty little rainbow. There he goes. So, for 45 bucks, can you go out and catch fish? You sure can. There we go. Little guy. Self release. All right, that's two. Right out there in the middle. If I have a full river to cast this thing, I could probably get it out there. Roll cast, nah, not so much. Is it a good double haul? Yeah. You could probably make it a hundred times better if you had the proper fly line on here for the weight of the rod. But like, 
just as an example there are fish over there that i can't get to due to the abilities of this rod is that an issue eh, i'm gonna fish right here in front of me i think there's fish in front of me if there weren't any fish in front of me then yes that would be an issue but the fishing's about to get good here and i think after one more i'm probably gonna get a switch rods i do have this new fly dip that i want to try it's supposed to be an excellent floating it's supposed to work really well in cold weather which here we are although i'm getting ready to shed this jacket I if I have to let that dry first. Me? Ah, let's toss her out there. She floats. How does it throw it dry? Not very well. Looks that tree behind me pretty well though. All right, back in action with the Pertagon. Right back over there where I saw all those feeding fish. I still have them. Yes, I do. Yank that little guy right out of the water. That's number three. Number three on a forty-five dollar rod. Kind of four dollar and fifty cent fly. This guy's a little beat up. There you go. Catching fish on flies that are ten percent the cost of the rod itself. Rod itself. Rod whole setup and everything. I'm tempted to throw back out there. Cast him back out there. Told you. Look at that. I got high hold by two people, not just one. Looks like I'm heading down here. Claim the next stretch of water. Just work my way back. Hopefully, they're down when I get there. So, that rod wasn't bad. 45 bucks, but look at this. This is this is a four weight. Right, it's my Echo Trout X, about the same length, but way different action. Way more sensitive. It's got one of these for my hooks. And look, if you're trying to get into fly fishing and you just want to try it out, sure, 45 bucks, it's a good rod, go for it. My only problem with that is I see some struggles with that rod that, um, you know, even somebody like me that does it all the time would be really frustrating for a new fly fisherman. So you might feel the stiffness in it, the inability to mend, right? Uh, the struggles that I had getting out there with any type of structure behind me, and that might cause you to not want to do it so well even with a good run you can still hang up and i'm about to blow out this hole so that i do not lose my pertagon but uh as always thanks for watching everybody make sure you hit that like button if it helps you out and uh feel free to drop a super thanks if you're really thankful um also channel memberships are active so go check those out all right everybody i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching Oh yeah, as I'm putting everything away, I forgot to show you, it does come with a tapered leader and a couple flies that I didn't even see. I don't know what those flies are, but uh, they'd probably be good for bluegill or 
crappie or something. But yeah, there you have it. Nice bag, no rod tube, but Wigman Outdoors. <laughs>